Well played. Not that Malalyn will remember. She's got more skooma than blood in those veins, I wager. She'll be lucky to make it home with all her teeth intact. But enough about her. We have a tournament to win. See you in Elden Root. What? Uh, how did you do that? How many cards did you play? Wait, how many cards did I? Since price, my head hurts. Just get out of here. Leave me alone. Look at what the senses dragged in. This one is sorry you had to make such a long trip just to lose. Don't worry about me. Don't pay me any mind. Just wipe the floor with her, friend. And here we are. Time to rub defeat into Renobi's expertly quaffed... Ooh, hang on. Is it me? Or are all of Gonfalon's opponents well-groomed? Or maybe we're just scruffier than everyone else? What? Uh, how did you do that? How many con- So, Sorin's new boring friend comes to face Renobi, yes? Oh, this is good. Once this one scratches your dungy strategies to pieces, Sorin will learn what a fool she has been. She will come crawling back to Renobi soon enough. Feh! Renobi learned from the best. While you supped from Boozy Razamad's baby bottle, this one sat at the paws of true masters. You have no chance, Walker. None. But you are right. Why speak when you can show, yes? Shuffle your deck, Walker. Renobi must admit you have skill. But skill counts for little without cunning. Sorin is soft. Weak. She yields when she should attack. That is why I beat her every time. And that is why I will beat her again today. Do I know you? How did I get here? Oh, my mind. It's so foggy. Oh, I think I might be sick. <laughs> Renobi's sweets? Could they be holding me back? We will see how she fares here at the end of the tournament. Well played! That face Renobi makes when she knows she's beaten, it's like a breath of fresh sea air. And I mean to see it again when I beat her. Yeah, actually, I am. After our talk earlier, I know I can do this. I spent so many years being the woman Ray Nobi thought I was. I never thought about the woman I wanted to be. I see that woman now, thanks to you. Oh, luck will have nothing to do with it, my friend. This is a thrashing that's been a decade in the making. Now, you go on. Get back to the gaming hall and enjoy your victory. I'll join you directly. Oh, 
Who's back? Didn't take too long, did it? Welcome back, my friend. I hear you skinned that cat, Renobi. A fitting end to her unscrupulous strategies. I applaud your victory, but in truth, you achieved something far greater than advancing in a tournament. I speak of the compassion you showed for Soren. No matter the outcome of her match with Renobi, she cast off a pair of heavy shackles today. There will be other difficult days, but with your help, she is better prepared to weather them. Now, we prepare for the final round. The last challenge on the long road to master status and ultimate victory in the tournaments. We have a brief respite, though. For now, take this reward and bask in the glow of victory. Welcome to Advanced Play. The time has come, my friend. The final tournament. Your chance to take your place among Tales of Tribute legends. I hope you have been practicing. This last contest presents unique challenges. Well, the tournament can have only one victor. Unlike previous matches, where you, Bragas, and Soren rose or fell as a chapter, the final challenges rest upon your achievements as an individual. If you overcome the opposing chapter, you will need to defeat all remaining players for the title. That means the Gonfalon chapter, your teammates, may have to challenge each other. With how well the three of you have played, just be ready. We do not have much time before your final opponents arrive. You should find Soren and Bragas in town and wish them good luck. Bragas could be anywhere. But Soren often visits the statue of Kinnereth before big matches. Check there first. With facing each other, you mean? Yes, of course. Defeating a friend can ruffle some feathers, it is true. But in the end, it is only a game, right? Plus, haven't you always secretly wondered who is the best player in Gonfalon Bay? Ha! Yes, that goes without saying. Truthfully. I cannot think of anything that could lure me out of retirement now. And to be the greatest, you have to play. Is it not so? No. The reign of Razamad is over. One of you must claim my place. Bad enough to come to Cold Harbor, but to end up in the Tower of Lies toiling away? Taking a pre-match stroll? I've always loved sitting up here, watching people hustle this way and that. Everyone with their own stories, their own little adventures. We've had our own share of adventures, haven't we? So soon. Funny how it feels like an eternity between rounds, and then it's a sprint once things start. Honestly, I never thought I'd make it this far. Mara's mercy, the final round. Did Razamod tell you the rules? Everyone for themselves and all that? Whatever happens, I'm rooting for you and Bragas. But mostly for myself, of course. I'll tell you, standing here within spitting distance of the championship, it's really something. Soren the Tribute Champion has a nice ring, doesn't it? I saw him scuttling down an alley near the docks. Knowing him, he's off making some ill-advised bet. Gods, I hope I'm wrong. He's got a real chance at greatness here. He can't muck it up. Oh well, hopefully I'll see you both at the gaming hall soon. Just going to take another moment with my old friend Kinnereth here. None of the eight really take an interest in games as far as I know. But I like to think the old girl will nudge things in my favor, at least a little. Well enough. 
Once that initial rush of victory wore off, I remembered how far I still have to go, you know? Once Skuma has its hooks in you, it's not something you can just shrug off with a game of cards. But I did open up to Razamod. Difficult, at first, but I adore Razamod. Even when I told him the really difficult stories, the lowest lows, he never once sneered or laughed or judged. I know I can rely on him in the future, when the stars aren't quite so bright. Oh, I know. He told me. Repeatedly. We're lucky to know him. All of us. My dock hands are watching for your cargo, Lady Arabelle. They know it's precious. What is a Soma? Perhaps it's the ladyships. Forgive me if I do the job you hire. Look, I don't have the gold yet, but I'm close to winning. I've got a side bet that will cover everything I owe. In debt to us and making even more bets you can't cover? Pathetic. You don't even know who you're up against. It doesn't matter. I'm going to win. I have to. Optimism, the gambler's oh, eternal foe. Don't even think about running when so you fail, luck. Bralgus. We will find you. You always catch me at my best, don't you? <laughs> Look, this was just, a, just a little disagreement about a side bet. It's nothing, or it soon will be. With how well I've been playing, not even Razamad could beat me. This tournament is in the bag. Yeah. What? And who's going to beat me, Soren? You? Listen, you're a talented tribute player, but I've been playing cards for years. I taught you how to play, remember? Oh, Zen's price. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I just really need this gold. Razamad's already bailed me out twice. Soren poured out a month's wages to pay off a sea elf I owed. I can't keep hiding behind my friends. I have to settle this on my own. If I pull off this one last bet, it will settle my debts and then some. <laughs> it's a bit late for that, chum. I'm eyeball deep in it now. Only way out of this is a glorious triumph. Or, well, let's not think about that. Come on, let's head back to the gaming hall. Our opponents may already be there waiting for us. Yeah. Up we go! Surprised to see you out here, Razamod. And with an empty cup, no less. Ha! It is the final round! What kind of game baron would I be if I did not cheer the chapter on? Ah, it looks like your opponents are here. Honor to you, Razamad. I, Talib Fels, champion of the Mournhold chapter, have come to extend the final tournament challenge. Damn, it's them. I knew it. Oh, I thought you'd be happy to see us, my dear Bragis. You needn't take this so seriously. It is just a game, right? To leave Fells. Hmm. I will not lie to you. To leave and his apprentices are some of the greatest tribute players currently competing. They will put your every strategy to the test. Stay focused and wary. We're in trouble. The Mournhold chapter has produced some of the greatest tribute players alive. Razamod beat this to leave character once, but only barely. <sighs> All we can do is try our best, right? The Mournhold chapter. Zend Price! I was worried this would happen. I don't mean to rattle you, but these bug lovers almost never lose. But this time is different. This time, I'm going to win. Your friend Bragus has really stepped in the dung this time. If I were you, I'd steer clear of him for a while. Trust me, you don't want to get pulled down into his mess.
must I spell it out? Bragis owes Master Fells a magister's ransom in gold. We've given him ample opportunities to repay his debt, but the hole he digs grows deeper still. Oh, it's not a matter of if he pays. It's a matter of when he pays, and with what. And if he refuses, well, we have ways of dealing with those who neglect their obligations. So, this is the Gonfalon chapter we've heard so much about. Hmm. I never judge my opponents by their appearance, but my, aren't you an unkempt bunch? The Gonvalon Chapter's Redeemer in the flesh. I've looked forward to meeting you. The novice who blossomed into a contender within the span of a single tournament season. Quite the feat. Now, I assume you know the rules of the final tournament? Just so. You and your compatriots will face my associates here. The winners of those contests will then play each other to determine who will have the honor of facing the reigning champion. Me. Long enough to know that one should never underestimate an opponent or leave anything to chance. Your leader, Razamad, taught me that lesson. It's one of the reasons I hold him in such high esteem. Unlike others in your coterie. Indeed. To think that he lives in the company of such a great man and still learns nothing. Heartbreaking. Well, when this is all over, I expect Bragis won't trouble anyone else. Beside the slave masters of House Drez, of course. I'm a Dark Elf. We are not in the habit of making threats. We only state matters as they are. Bragis has every reason to worry. But enough of that. We have games to play. The tournament lists are there in front of the gaming hall. Be seeing you. Now, Bivak, I wish you all fair hands and good fortune in this final tournament. Especially you, Bragis. Eat most to leave. Bragis, a word. Don't worry about me, chum. I've got this completely under control. Yeah, and that overconfidence is going to be what puts him in the loser's circle. I'm going to win. Have you seen how well I've been playing? I'm on the roll of the era. I'm going to win, and all my problems gone. Poof, like smoke on the wind. That's not going to happen. Just... Just worry about yourself, all right? Tall pompous breaches what has Bragus gotten himself into this time? To leave is a fine player, but he has many connections to unsavory elements in Mournhold. House Drez, the Kimona Tong, you name it. If Bragus made another bet, damn. What is going on? Razamod is using that voice. Do you think Bragus really stepped in it again? Gods, why can't he keep himself out of trouble? There's not much we can do for now. Let's just try to focus on the tournament, alright? Surprised to see me? This is the final tournament, my friend. I had to see it for myself. Just remain focused. Use what you've learned over these past weeks. This match will be difficult, but you can win. I know it. So, I face the prodigy first, eh? Excellent. I imagine that if I can beat you, the other two matches will be a snap. 
Come on then, show me what you've got. Hmm, well played. I'd almost forgotten the bitter taste of defeat. I suppose I should thank you for this lesson in humility. Of course, you may face a similar lesson in Stormhold. Go on and face your next and likely last opponent. Good luck in Stormhold. To leave protege Drowsia lacks her teacher's experience, but shares his talent. Now, I'm off to find Soren and Bragas. I hope they're finding success, especially Bragas. I grew up in Narcissus. I can't believe this stupid plague almost turned the place into a ghost town. I love cities. They have a kind of rhythm to them, and it's just a matter of learning the steps. Shuttle scales aren't taking any more contracts. Shh. Hey, you made it. I knew you'd make it. Well, I didn't know, but I certainly hoped. Who, me? <laughs> no, no. That Mournhold bully over there eliminated me in the first round. You know what, though? It's fine. I had a grand time, and there's always the next tournament. Now, I get to relax and cheer you and Bragas on. Nothing yet, but I'm hopeful. Honestly, I've been trying not to think about it. He's in it deep this time. The bets he's making... I don't know the specifics, but I know it's much, much more than he can cover. I should probably check on him. I was really looking forward to watching you beat the Flynn out of this elf. Ah, oh, well. After your match, I'll head back to Gonfalon Bay and do some investigating. Meet me at the gaming hall when you finish up here. I'm rooting for you. Greetings, Gonfalon. That Sorin was a pleasant enough appetizer, but you, Sarah, are the main course. Are you ready to begin? Just like that? Are you sure you don't want to make any outrageous bets beforehand? Isn't that the custom among certain members of your chapter? Yes, of course. Quite the cautionary tale, that one. I haven't seen him yet, so he's either vainly soldiering on against one of my companions, or already someone's property. Are you sure you don't want to place a bet, too? You may have bested me, but to leave will vivisect you! Get out of my sight! Well, I never have a hard time watching one of the Mournhold Roysters lose. As much as I'd like to stay and watch Dralcia's downward spiral, I need to figure out what's happening with Bragas. I'll see you back at Gonfalon Bay. So, we have a deal then? We do. Don't fret, Razumad. This won't take long. Tall Papa's breeches. There you are. And victorious. Yes? Good. One less burden on my shoulders. Unfortunately, the most difficult part begins now. I need your help, my friend. As does Bragas, though he does not know it yet. 
Bragas defeated to leave's associate. Only one opponent stands between him and the final match. You. Bragas has never come this close to a title. His life depends on defeating to leave and winning the tournament. His game has never been stronger. He plays with fierce determination. And that is why he cannot win this match. If Bragas faces off against Talib, he will lose. Bragas mirrors my tournament style against a lesser opponent. That might be enough. But Talib has studied my strategies in detail. He knows every counter. Bragas cannot defeat Talib. But you can. Bragas' debts are no longer in Bragas' hands. There is hope still, but you must defeat to leave in order for my plan to work. And to defeat to leave, you must beat Bragas here, now. He's upstairs waiting. Hunding give you strength. What to leave? Come to take a peek at the future title holder's strategy? Someone in your precarious position might do well to make fewer boasts, Bragis. There you are. You talked to Razamad, right? I love Bragis like a brother, but you have to win this game. You have to. I certainly didn't expect Bragis to make it this far. But, as I said, I never underestimate my opponents. Watching the two of you play should be quite the treat. Please, take a seat. I promise I won't make a peep. Ha! I knew it! I knew you'd be the one. To leave's little brown nosers never had a chance against someone at your level. Uh, no offense, Soren. Honestly, though, I'm glad it's you. Two of Gonfalon Bay's greatest players here in Razamad's house. Worried? Chum, I've been worried all my life. Running from gangsters, hiding in fish barrels, scraping for loose coins on filthy tavern floors. I'm done with that, all of it. It's win or die now, no tricks, no excuses, just us and the cards. Then... I face the consequences, come what may. I wouldn't worry about it though. I'm going to win this match, friend. I've come too far. Now, enough talk. Run, Bragis. Wait, you and Razamad had a deal. Yes, a deal that remains unresolved until it's settled. Bragis belongs to me. Soren, no. I'll go with him. A deal? A deal's a deal. Damn it! I thought Razamod set the term so Bragis would go free after the match. Come on, we have to act fast. Razamad didn't want me to tell you, but you need to know. He struck a new deal with Talib to settle Bragas' debts, a big one. If Razamad loses this bet, he's signing over the entire gaming hall to the Mournhold chapter. Yeah, building, staff, licenses, the whole thing. Who knows what Talib has planned for it? But there's still a chance. Razamad bet that a member of the Gonfalon chapter would win the tournament. It didn't matter who, just one of us. As if you needed more pressure, right? That's why Razamad didn't want to tell you. You can do this, though. I believe in you. Razamad believes in you. The entire chapter is behind you. Now, go to Mournhold and show to leave what Gonfalon's made of.
Royster's Guild leadership is still organizing the next tournament. Your eagerness does you credit, but a brief respite will do you well. Keep your skills sharp and try to acquire some new cards and decks. Oh, and don't forget to revel! To leave, I warn you. If you hurt Bragas, you will regret it. Bragas belongs to me, Razamad. You have more pressing concerns when it comes to property, I think. Your precious gaming hall, for instance. Of course, your prodigy here still has a chance to reverse your fortunes. Razamad, you bet the hall? Oh, Efri's veiny arse. What were you thinking? Peace, Brogus. Or shall I remind you of the penalty for speaking out of turn? You've got this. I know you do. Just try to think of it like any other game. Just against one of the strongest tribute opponents you've ever faced. I'm... I'm not helping, am I? I know we will. Well, you will. This burden is on your shoulders. The fact is, you've helped each and every one of us, especially me. Just, regardless of what happens, it won't be your fault, alright? Do your best. That's enough. I'm so sorry Razamad put this on you, Chum. I'm so... I'm so sorry about everything. I deserve this, but Razamad and the chapter don't. Beat this bug lover for them, not for me. See? That there's that swagger I saw during our first match. You've got this well in hand. Keep that confidence and don't hold back. Use everything you've learned and beat this bastard. I can't believe Razamad would put all of this on a player like you. That gaming hall is as good as ours. It will take some time for Bragas to learn his place. But don't worry, we are very diligent teachers. Greetings. It seems your game, Baron, would like a word with you. To explain the particulars of our agreement, I hope. You have a right to know what he and Bragas stand to lose if you fail. I certainly don't envy your position. Soren says you know the details of my agreement to save Bragas. I am sorry, my friend. I did not mean to place so heavy a burden on one of my best students. The championship should be your only concern. However this unfolds, the choice was mine. You were right, and for that, you have my deepest apologies. In my rush to rescue one of my students, I left another exposed to, well, all of this. You have done nothing but good since you joined the chapter. You deserve better. I hand over the keys to my gaming hall to Talib along with all the Hall's assets. He would dissolve the chapter, no doubt. The revels would come to an end. I hope that the regulars and the staff would still be well served, but nothing is certain. Bragas would become a member of Talib's house, against his will. Regardless of their agreements with the Argonians, the Dark Elves have never been self-conscious about slavery. Service in chains. That's what Bragas is bound for. I know, 
And whatever the outcome, I am grateful for everything. Greetings, Sarah. I apologize for Bragas's atrocious manners. We haven't had time to train him properly yet. Now then, the final match. You appear to have Razamad's complete confidence. He wouldn't have made this foolish bet otherwise. Yes. If you win, I will release Bragas, get free. More importantly, Razamad will retain control of his gaming hall. Your friend's freedom and your teacher's livelihood. Both reliant on a game of cards. I hope you play well under pressure. Then show me, Gonfalon. It's time to find out who will be crowned the next Tribute Champion. Release Bragas. Now. Razamad, if you read the contract, I think you'll find... The contract is final. If you want to dispute it, our newest tribute champion has a skill set beyond simple card games. I'm sure they'd be happy to put it on display. If you try anything. Bragas? You may go. Like I need your permission. Congratulations, champion. Come, friends. We should return to Gonvalon Bay. Revels await! Pavek! I've never seen a match like that! Oh, to leave bleeds after all. Perhaps it's time I find proper tutelage elsewhere. Listen, I heard what Razamad said about your other skills. Just leave me out of it, all right? If you need to beat someone senseless, to leave is right there. You surprise me, champion. And I am rarely surprised. You may have saved Bragas for now, but it won't last long. I suspect he'll make another wager before he even leaves Mournhold. Nonetheless, he is free for now, as promised. The Tribute Champion returns! Huzzah! Welcome home! Three cheers for our very own Tribute Champion! Three cheers, I say! The Hero of Gonfalon Chapter! Cheers! Aye! Cheers to the best of us! Zispo, would you all quiet down? Kishka has work to do, yes? But yes, cheers to you, Walker. Sorry, I started the revels a tad early. Once we knew Bragas was safe, I might have let it slip that you won. Guess that means you have some catching up to do. Grab a drink and get to dancing! Nice work out there. I hear you saved that runty Bragas. More importantly, you saved my job. Moloch knows to leave wouldn't have kept an orc on the payroll. Let's get you a drink. And don't tell Soren, but just this once, you can dance on the bar. Sure, talking's a big part of the job after all. The part that doesn't pay anything. What do you want to know? Yeah, read up. We keep an official Roysters Club rules guide right there on the bar. Have a look anytime you like. Oh, and try not to spill your ale on it. Damn sea-legged locals don't appreciate a good leather-bound book. Nah, I dabble. I like to think of myself as more of an observer. I love the game, its rules, the art, all of that. But I just don't have the time to play it. Too busy taking care of the hall. 
This place would be a dump without me. Well, there's progress. Kid's got a good heart, but keeps his purse strings looser than an ogre's trousers. Heard he's been betting on tribute matches recently. Lots of coin changing hands. Lad's gonna end up in a cell or a ditch if he keeps it up. There's Soren, energetic girl. Used to be caught up in a worse mess than Bragas. Set her life right, though. Now she's just addicted to playing tribute and being cheerful. <laughs> Kishka, that Khajiit in the next room, is another member. Yeah, Kishka's our broker. Takes care of the chapter's daily challenges with her brother, Marunji. Damn good tribute player, too, but she never leaves her spot. Too busy being, well, being Kishka. She's one of a kind. Then there's Razamad. He's a former tribute champion and the leader of our chapter. He keeps us all out of trouble, as best he can. Without him, this place wouldn't exist. He's one of the only tuskless people I trust. A good man, through and through. My friend, it has been a genuine pleasure. Except for that whole almost being sold into slavery bit. I suppose it does add a layer of suspense to the tale, though. All the best stories include some fool up to his ear tips in trouble, right? Well, the welts and bruises will take a few weeks to heal. Feels like I fell off a horse as it was falling off a cliff. But a few bumps and scratches are the least of it. The real consequences hurt a lot worse. Razamad revoked my chapter sponsorship and suspended my Royster's Club membership. We've barely spoken since we got back. Looks like my days on the tribute circuit are over. After what I put Razamad through, I can hardly blame him. You want me to say, oh yeah, of course, and all that, but the truth is, I just don't know. I've got a problem, chum. A big one. I want to stop. I need to stop, obviously. But I don't think I can do it alone. I'll find the help I need. Promise. Ah, enough of all the mushy stuff. You should head upstairs and talk to Razamad. He's got a reward for you. Go claim it, champ. As for me, I'm going to have a bit more of this delicious medicine. could hear the cheers from up here. Welcome back, champion. This one is waiting for someone. And you certainly are not them. Move along, friend. Tariren has no business with you. It is better to keep it that way. I tried to get the others to wait until you arrived to begin the revels. But it is not in the Gonfalon chapter's nature to delay a celebration. Soren and the others are so proud of you. As am I. No, thank you. This was supposed to be a simple tournament. And to many, it was. But not us. Not you. You reclaimed our chapter's honor. Saved property. Lives. Whatever the future brings, Razamad and the players of Gonfalon Bay are in your debt. Now, we should discuss the matter of the tournament itself. I watched you grow from a novice to a veteran. Through dutiful card collection and countless matches, you stand before me. A Tales of Tribute Champion. Then let's get to it. I, Razamad, Royster's Club Game Baron and Master of the Gonfalon Bay Tribute Chapter, hereby declare you a Tales of Tribute Master. May you continue to succeed and excel in the years to come. Congratulations, my friend. Good luck in the matches ahead, Tribute Master. If you are looking for greater challenges, well, as a fellow master, Perhaps I can share some of my knowledge. I am no tribute founder, but I do know quite a bit. Of course, the tournaments provided the lift you needed to reach master status, but you were still far from the summit. Searching for new cards, 
playing ranked matches with high-level players, maybe even seeking the founders. Yes, the creators of the game and founding members of the Roysters Club. They keep their identities hidden. Even we masters know precious little about how Tales of Tribute came to be. No one I know has ever met a founder, but we know they exist. Well, according to some of the highest tier players, if you manage to find a founder, you can challenge them to a game of tribute. Those who win gain a fabulous prize. I cannot say for sure if that part is true, but it could be worth investigating. I received an unsigned letter months ago. It stated, they walk in the City of Light amid the horrors of Azure Doom. It refers to a founder, I think. But I am quite comfortable here, far from any doom, Azure or otherwise. <laughs> I hope that is helpful. Hmm, Gellic, perhaps. As a barkeep, she meets scores of people every day. One of them might have dropped some hints on where to find a founder. It might be worth asking the others as well. Soren and Bragas, they both have keen ears for rumors. You may already be familiar with them, but many adventurers like yourself have begun challenging each other for rank and renown. These matches lack the structure of our recent tournaments, but the rewards seem well worth the effort. I believe it is time to upgrade the gaming hall, don't you? With one of our members being the newest tribute champion, players have started flocking to our club. This means coin. <laughs> so much coin! We can finally afford some assistance for Gellic. That is up to them. Well, except for Bragas. I imagine you spoke with him. I remain cross, but he is still my friend. I hope that revoking his membership will finally set him on the right path. I wish I were more optimistic. When you play games of luck and skill, you meet many people. Some are prudent, some are not. Unfortunately, the imprudent players tend to remain that way, unless they seek help. If Bragas finds help, he may turn things around. I hope he does. This one is looking for a druid. Perhaps you have seen them. One would think they would seem out of place here, but even still, this one's quarry eludes him. Razamad revoked my membership, but he hasn't thrown me out in my ear yet, thank goodness. I told Gellick I could help her around the bar. Never heard her laugh so hard, but I think she's game. Bragus doing hard, honest work. Who'd have thought? For you, my friend, of course. You saved my hide. In fact, you got any jobs that need doing? Need a horse groomed? Garden weeded? As long as it doesn't involve betting, I'm game. You would need to teach me about horses and gardens, though. Well, been better, been worse, too. The important thing is, is that I'm free. Broke? Very broke, in fact. But free, all the same. Gellock offered me room and board as long as I pitch in, sweeping up, washing the dishes, that sort of thing. It's been nice. Stranger things have happened. My uncle used to dance naked through the grats, hunting shots with a deer antler. Now he sells pottery in Pelotine. Things change. As much as I complain about it, I do love this city. So yeah, it may just stick. Just between you and me, not enough. I mean, don't get me wrong, Gellick runs a tight ship, but the food here is just... <clears throat> there are opportunities for improvement, let's put it that way. Come to think of it. I'm something of a chef myself. Oh, sure. My grandmother taught me all the family recipes. It's just been so long. I guess I just forgot about it. Hey, I like this idea. I'll put together a new menu for the club. Huh? 
I can't wait to see Gellick's face when I share the news. Not a peep. I don't usually stand for threats, but when Taleev learned about how you make your livelihood, well, I think that closed the book on his quarrels with me. So again, thanks for that. We'll see him at competitions. Well, maybe you will. But I think he's smart enough to avoid another bet against the Gonfalon chapter. Founders? Really leaping into this master thing with both feet, eh? Can't say for sure. But I think I might have met one a few months back, up in Rivenspire. She was an orc, but a real spooky sort. Grey skin, red eyes. See a lot of that out there. I know she was. We met on the road late at night. I thought she meant to eat me at first, but then I noticed a pair of tribute decks peeking out of her bodice. Naturally, I challenged her to a match. It went about as well as you might expect. Like a three-legged mule, she gave me the worst thrashing of my life. When we parted company, she mentioned something about meeting her friends at a castle nearby. Can't remember the name. I think it had a bird in it. Sorry, that's all I've got. Hard to believe, but I finally got some help around here, and you'll never guess from who. Vragas! The little scoundrel finally decided to work for a living. I don't want to scare him off honest work, but I'm not going easy on him either. Founders? You may have noticed we don't serve a lot of elite clientele here. If a founder came rambling through, I think they'd stick out like a broken tusk. I do hear rumors now and then, though. An Imperial swung through a few weeks back. One of those sandy types who likes digging for old teacups and such. He told me about a card-playing scholar he met in Craglorn. Weird lady rooting around in ruins for ancient games. Might be worth a look. Oh, sure. Heard one about the Duchess that'll knock you flat on your... Oh, you mean about more founders. Some Nord told me about a blind tribute player in Eastmarch. Said he tried to cheat, but the guy knew somehow. Witchcraft, I wager. Be careful. Well, now that the tournament is over, the only logical thing to do is start preparing for the next one. If I'm to have any chance of beating you, I've really got to up my game. I mean, like, over drinks? <laughs> Only kidding. What's the newest Tribute Master want to talk about? Strategies, rare cards, the ingredients of Gellick's eel pudding? Actually, let's avoid that last one. No rest for me. It's right back to ranked matches. Might try out a new deck, test some unconventional strategies I've been cooking up, I did well in the tournaments, no question, but I know I can do better. Razamad did the right thing. A big part of overcoming an issue like Bragas's is, is managing access to the games. At least, that's what I've heard. I started talking to a scholar about addiction. Priests, too. I'm learning a lot. I know he is. And just because he's not a member of the chapter doesn't mean we'll cast him out like a flu-racked beggar. He's our friend. He won't do this alone. A mutual friend reached out a while ago. She said Raynobi doubled down on her skooma operation after losing to us. To me. Apparently a deal went poorly and she just vanished. No one's heard from her. Part of me wants to look for her. Even now. Don't be. Raynobi was... Honestly, I don't know what she was to me. A friend, an enemy, a lover, an abuser. It's just... I don't think I'll ever really untangle it. Whatever the case, I'm better without her. It's a hard lesson I'm still learning. I absolutely have. And I have all of you to thank. You, Bragas, Razamad, you're my family now. No more mind games or temptations, just honest friendship. I know I've said it a million times, but thank you, seriously. A founder? No, never. I did hear a crazy story about a card-playing ghost, though. Probably Guardung, honestly, but given the state of the world nowadays, I'd believe just about any crazy story you told me. According to the rumor, this ghost has a full set of tribute cards. 
and she plays like, like some kind of fortune teller wizard. I've thought about trying to find her more than once, but knowing my luck, she'd probably possess me or something. I heard she haunts some cabin in the deepest groves of Grotwood. I've never had a chance to explore those woods, but if I do, you bet your last drake I'm going to find this ghost and wreck her deck. <laughs>